And now we welcome to Impact Natalie Bethnal, host, actor, and brand ambassador for Clive Christian Perfume. Natalie is an actress known for The Disciple in 2008, Pawn 2009, and Jump the Broom, a musical in 2009. Like most immigrants, Natalie is living the American dream, exploring numerous ventures as a healthcare professional, an entrepreneur, and an exceptional host who can be seen on red carpets at Hollywood events. Great to have you on Impact, Natalie. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> Pamela. You are so very welcome. You are very dynamic. You do so many things. But first of all, tell me, how did you find yourself in this great country? <laughs> well, I was one of the lucky ones. It wasn't my dream. It was mom and dad's. Oh, really? I wanted to stay in Ghana. Oh. I mean, we had a maid. We had a driver. We and, had, you know. And, uh, and yeah. what happened? And they said. <laughs> dad decided to become a pastor. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> and so um, Dallas Theological Seminary was mm -hmm. what he envisioned and enrolled okay. at. And so, you know, I moved to Dallas. Oh. Then, you know, um, I always wanted to come to Los Angeles because of Marilyn Monroe and Ooh, the Beatles. Ooh, okay. And growing up, you know, uh -huh. my dad listened to their music and watched all the cowboy movies. So I yes. said, I must go to L.A. How, do you like it here then? I love L.A. Um, I think it's a finicky town. It's, uh, it, it's, <laughs> like it's a little special in its own way. Uh -huh. um, I think it's one of the, the cities where you're never bored. Mm -hmm. They say Las Vegas never sleeps, but I really think it's L.A. because um, each day you have maybe over 30,000 people that land at the airport. In yes. LA with it's dreams. always busy. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there are positive sides and downsides, you know, of L.A. Mm -hmm. And so... So how do you really define yourself, Natalie? Because you do a lot of things. I mean, and you do them so well. And most mm. people can't even handle one. So what really? Tell me about what you do. Um, what I do. My upbringing exposed me to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. um, we lived well in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But also we never realized that we lived well. There you uh, go. Because of the heart of um, the parents that I had. Yes. And so I think that, you know, stayed with me as an adult today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I've made it a point uh, here as, a, as an adult here in L.A. to mm -hmm. connect with everyone. Yes. Indeed. If they look different, sound different, act different, I want to know why. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing. Yes. And I think that's what also put me into the medical field. Correct. I work with a lot of plastic surgeons in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a world that's quite interesting. Because yes. Uh, culture and religion goes into that. Yes. But then again, um, the um, the impact of who I am, I think, comes from how I was raised. Okay. Yeah. Hey, if this is your first time visiting Team TV channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we post new content. What do you think? What do you think it takes to be successful? As an immigrant in America, because I, I think you consider yourself successful, because yes. you are successful, yeah, your I'm success grateful. story. <laughs> yes. What do you think? I I think connecting, being transparent. Mm -hmm. um, as immigrants, when we come, you know, um, as Tarek mentioned earlier mm -hmm. uh, in in the program, um, we're either a little, you know, conservative or a little um, uns unsure about who we are because how are we going to be accepted? Yes. Um, at schools, I mean, you mentioned my name quite well. I was even afraid to tell people my last name, yeah. even though it was one of the simple That's African names. It's a beautiful names. name. Yes, very beautiful and has a strong meaning. Mm -hmm. So I think once you decide, um, uh, you know, uh, to accept who you are and you become truly, truly transparent, yes. that's when transformation begins. And that's yes. when it started. For yeah, me. Tell our listeners the meaning of your name, Bisnail. Bisnail mm -hmm. from the Ngambai tribe. Mm -hmm. I'm firstborn child of Mr. Sem Jekormane Miantolum okay. from uh, the village of Biku. Okay. Uh, Be Asnael means, Be means a state of being, a country, mm -hmm. someone. As means to be, and Nal is a negation. So mm -hmm. meaning different strokes, um, to each their own, everybody's different, you know, all of that in one. That's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. So it was really important for me to have you on the show talking about the other perspective, about mm -hmm. um, acceptance of Muslims and integration and living together. Why do you think... You grew up where we grew up, and I'm from Cameroon, you're mm -hmm. from Chad, Tarek is Canadian-Egyptian, and all of us. Why do you think it's a lot different the way that it's the integration takes place here in the United States? Why do you think that is? 
It is different. Um, we're a sensitive group, and I think the U.S. in general is more sensitive than the attribute. Um, that's my own personal opinion. I think in other countries, we're, everything is the same. Yes. But because there's such a diverse group within a small space here, mm -hmm. It's 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 dif it's difficult. It's tough to uh, understand and mingle and get to know each other. Mm -hmm. So if it is difficult today, it's because of how fast paced America is. Okay. In other parts of the world, things are a little bit more delayed. So you have yes. time. You, know, okay. you have time to get to know each other. Yeah. You have time to talk. Yes. Yeah. You know, we've dwelt a lot on the things that we want to fix. What yes. do you like about um, the American spirit? Let's talk. Let me give our people some love. What do you like about Americans? <laughs> what do I like about Americans? An American <laughs> knows who they are. Yes. Uh, they will go to a place and make that place better just because they want to be comfortable first. Oh, my god! And you're left with a better, you know, uh, state uh, as opposed to some people yes. um, uh, before, you know, they, they come back to you. Yes. So I think uh, mm -hmm. an American is, is very sure of themselves. They're not fearful. They are not. Uh, that's and they're for very sure. outspoken. And I admire that. I think, you know, for who I am in my country, a dark skinned Chadian and yes. a woman yes. um, and a Christian, which is a minority, by the way, in, in Chad. Your yes, in Chad. I'm mm -hmm. very outspoken. And yes. for the longest, they thought something was wrong with me. Now that you <laughs> mentioned that, did you experience any kind of discrimination being a minority religion? Absolutely. In Chad, in Chad all, all the time. The Muslims who yes. discriminate against the Christians? Yes. And, you know, the ones actually hmm. that discriminate against each other are the ones that I call the radicals. Of course. That's what those I mean. Those are not your Muslims. Those yes. are not your Christians. Right. Because really, at the end of the day, it's mm -hmm. all about love. Romans 5, yeah. you know, 5 says, you know, um, for having hope is not, you shouldn't be shameful to have right. hope. So yes. if you have hope, it's because there's been love poured into you. And, you know, then you have peace. Absolutely. Yeah. So give us a message to American brothers and sisters about the value that immigrants in general bring to this country because immigrants have been facing this backlash, uh -huh. you know, more than ever before. Uh -huh. What can you tell I Americans about what immigrants bring to this country? Immigrants bring everything to the table. The country, this country was um, uh, constructed uh, by immigrants. Mm -hmm. America is a melting pot, as we say. Yes. And so we need to go back to the sources. Um, then again, I stand on transparency, yes. understanding each other. Yes. It's, e it's easily said, but I think uh, having a show like this, I will not stop talking about this, speaks volume. And um, I, I, we appreciate you because I know that um, as a Cameroonian uh, lady who actually speaks both languages, it's not easy to just, you know, break know. the mold in thank media, you. especially in America. Yes. So thank you. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just have to say what I like about America is the one country, in spite of everything, mm -hmm. where you can dream and actually make things happen. So thank you so much. And uh, let's keep making a difference, right? Yes. So wonderful. Continue. And this is Impact with Pamela and Chang on KPFK 90.7 FM. Thanks for watching today's video. For more Team TV videos about immigrant lifestyles, click on the subscribe button here below and ring the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new content. We upload new content every single week. See you next time on Team TV.